a magician of enigmatic images. The stage is set for René Magritte. Dumb as a painter. Ever heard of that? This expression was supposedly pretty common in the late 19th century. It implies that poetry is above painting, words above images. René Magritte did not accept this hierarchy. For him, painting, poetry and even philosophy were equal. A meticulous painting of a pipe. Below it, the sentence, this is not a pipe. And of course, that is correct. For what we see is not a pipe, but a piece of painted canvas. The pipe in the picture can neither be filled nor smoked. Magritte repeatedly addressed the relationship between words, images and objects. He created his first word image paintings in 1927. After the poets and their words, Magritte turned his gaze to the philosophers. He engaged in discussions with important philosophers of his day and addressed fundamental philosophical questions. What is reality? What is illusion? Magritte believed that nobody knows what the world is really like. People have to rely on their imagination in order to visualize the world. We think we know what is behind the image within the image. But do we really? The deceptive nature of images, that is what the surrealist Magritte presents to us. Why deceptive? Well, if it is impossible for people to know reality, how are they to create images of it? René Magritte's motifs are highly symbolic, like the apple or the curtain. They allude to psychology, philosophy or ancient myths. He repeatedly combines his motifs in new ways, puts them in different contexts. The result is his very own enigmatic cosmos. Yeah.